Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Commander Hall. Hopefully you guys is having a great day. In this video, guys, I'm going to answer a question that I am asked all the time. And that question is, how do I get contracts? What do I do to get contracts, guys? So I'm going to go ahead and answer that question in this video for you guys. So let's say that you have your LLC, you done got your license from the state, and now you're like, okay, now what do I do? Now, feel free to add more to this video in the comments down below, but these are some of the things that I've done to get me to where I'm at now. And I'm still striving for more, guys. I'm still striving for more. But one of the first things I did, once I got my LLC and I got my business license and everything I needed to go with that, Google, guys. Face it, who don't use Google? Everybody named mama use Google, guys. Google is like number one and it's free and it's easy, you know, so get yourself signed up on Google so your business will be on Google so you can join the rest of the security companies in your area. It may be hundreds of them. It may be thousands of them, but you want to make sure you are on Google, guys. So that's the first thing you want to do is get yourself signed up on Google. And like I said, it's easy and it's free. Now, another thing I did was I went out and got me some business cards made and some flyers made. And what I did, I divided my city in four different areas. So uh, with my city being a large city, I spent like an entire day handing out flyers and business cards at pretty much every business in the area where I was at, guys. I mean, I targeted restaurants, uh, motels, um, apartment communities, just about any place you could think of. I handed off cards and flyers, guys. And I even went to some places when they had billboards posted and I asked them if they mind if I posted my cars or flyers on that uh, bulletin. Believe it or not, guys, a lot of them don't care. And I actually got a lot of phone calls from people seeing my business cards and my flyers and some of those different businesses, guys. So that worked. So get you some business cards, get you some flyers. Now, here's another tip for you guys. When you get those business cards, make sure you keep them in your wallet. Make sure you keep some in your purse if you're a female. Make sure you keep some in every vehicle that you may drive because you never know who you may run into and you don't want to be in a situation where it's like, ah, oh, I wish I had a business card. You know, so make sure you keep them in your wallet, your purse, and your personal vehicle so you'll have cards at any given time when you may need them. So that's another thing for you guys. Another thing, guys, if you have social media, I'm quite sure most of you guys have social media, networking, guys, networking. Now, the bigger companies probably isn't gonna to wanna to network with you. And those bigger companies are companies like Allied or Signal 88 or G4S. Companies like that probably won't want to network with you, but it may be other small business owners in your area, in your community, um, that may want to uh, you know, build up a relationship with you, and maybe you guys can subcontract different clients out to each other. You never know, guys. It works. It works for me. I have met a lot of people on Instagram who's right here in Florida, and we exchange numbers, and we, we have, you know, if there's something that I can't handle, meaning um, I may not have uh, the manpower to do the job or whatever, I could turn it over to them. And guess what? I get phone calls all the time as well with other security companies calling me saying, hey, look, do you want this? So networking is very, very important. You know, you can build up a great relationship with people right in your city or your nearby cities, and you never know. It can help jumpstart you with some contracts because it worked for me all the time. Matter of fact, my first contract that I ever received was passed down from another company who couldn't do it and they gave it to me. So networking is very, very, very important. Now, once you get your first contract, what you wanna do is get your clients to go on your Google and leave you a five-star review, guys. As your company continue to grow, you wanna make sure everyone leave you five-star reviews because that's gonna help your company climb from the bottom on Google up to the top eventually because that's your goal. When people type in security, you want your company to be the first one to pop up or at least in the top three, you know? So make sure you get a lot of reviews from your clients as you get clients because it'll help you on Google. And guess what? Google gonna open up millions of doors for you guys. So those things are very important as well. So don't be afraid to get out on foot. You know, don't be afraid to talk to people when you shopping in Walmart or you in a dollar store or you in the mall or wherever you may be. Don't be afraid, you know, hand out some business cards, you know, because that is very important and it works and word of mouth works as well. You know, get your family to post 
things on their social media and also put things in your social media. Advertise your company. Make little short videos if you want to. Um, another thing, guys, is if you're not shy, if you're not scared, you can make yourself a YouTube channel. Join this community with the other. We have a big family. We have a big thing going here on YouTube. And we all help each other. We all give each other pointers. We all give each other advice. That could be another thing, you know. Some things I may have missed in this video, you guys feel free to leave it down below and we could be helping another person. And that's what I love. I love this community, you know. And it's like, it's not about being negative or attacking each other. This is just like a big, peaceful community and I love it. Another thing you can do to advertise and get yourself out there is if you do have a patrol vehicle or if you're using your personal vehicle for now, I'm quite sure you don't want to put decals on your personal vehicle, but here's another thing you can do, guys. Get yourself a custom magnetic decal and put your company information and phone number and everything on that decal. So as you're driving around your city or wherever you're going, you advertise it. A form of advertisement, guys. Now, here's another thing, and I may be going a little overboard, but it works. Get yourself some company shirts made with your phone number on it. And when you go to the mall, wear your company shirt sometimes. I'm not talking about your actual uh, duty uniform, but like a custom shirt, just advertising. I guarantee you, you're gonna turn her eyes. You're gonna turn her eyes, especially if your shirt stand out. People gonna look at it and people gonna wonder like, what is that, you know, who is that, you know? So that's another thing that can work, guys. So this is just a few little tips to help you guys out. And uh, you know, I, I wish you guys the best on your journey on starting your own security company. And as always, feel free so reach out to me if you have any questions. I don't know at all, but if I don't know something, I can get the information for you. So uh, please like, share, subscribe. I'm gonna leave my email in the video, and I'm also gonna leave my Instagram in this video. So feel free to reach out to me. And that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.